one bite of the wrong plant will literally kill you, which is why U.S. Army survival experts developed the test you are going to learn in this video. You can follow along using the free download I made for you in the description below. And you don't need any books or apps, but I will recommend a few of my favorites at the very end. To try this with the guide I made for you below, I recommend starting with something like plantain that is commonly known to be edible and hard to get wrong. But as we'll see later, edibility is only part of a plant's value. Right now, I am digging out the roots of the plantain plant because to do this properly, you need to test each individual part of the plant. So I'm gonna have the roots separate from the leaves. And don't forget that every part of a plant can be edible. Here on the plantain, we have a budding seed head. We have the aerial section, AKA the part in the air or the leaves and the roots. You'll wanna do this test for each part on its own. Be sure to keep your eye out for other edible surprises. No, I've, I actually have eaten these. Um, they're, they're gross. <laughs> Even though I'm only testing this one part of the plant, I do want you to hang on to the other parts of the plant. Just put it in a pocket or somewhere for later. But now that you've separated the part you want to try, you're just going to very simply smell it. If you don't smell anything, you can always kind of squish it a bit, break it up a bit so you get some of those plant juices. Plant juices is probably not a word you thought you would hear today but get those plant juices out and smell it. So this one smells like, I mean dirt, because my hand smells like dirt. It smells kind of like, honestly, it kind of smells like a button mushroom. Okay, now what you're looking for when you smell is any instinctual or primal sense of aversion. If it makes you go like, Ugh you're probably not going to like it. I mean, it's not that different than a person, not stinky people, but right away when you get close to a person, you kind of know if you want to get closer or not. It's no different with plants. So give it a smell. If it smells mildly palatable or at least neutral, you're ready to move on to the next step, which is so easy. All you have to do is take the part of the plant you'd want to eat and you're going to rub it on a sensitive skin area. This is a gray area. Um, this is a gray area. You can tell because a mosquito bit me there. So I take this and I like to do it here on my wrist. Part of the reason I choose wrist over elbow is that it's a lot easier for me to see any reaction on my wrist. It's top of mind rather than my elbow. Now here's the tricky part. Once you do that, you might think right away nothing happens. So I'm good to go. No don't go. Once you do this first test with skin contact on a sensitive area, you need to wait eight hours. I know that seems like a long time, but you need it for two reasons. One, so you can really find out if your body is going to have a reaction. And two, to explore the surrounding environment and make discoveries like this one. I just came across this other one. Um, it's a plant I'm just starting to learn about and see now and I really want to find out if I can eat it. So let's give it a try with one caveat. I'll explain in a second. Okay. It's worth mentioning that, oh, my camera's gonna fall. Oh. As I go to pick that up, I make an incredible discovery, this seed, and you'll find out why it's so cool in a few minutes. It's worth mentioning that even if you're not sure you can eat something, Sometimes it's still worth harvesting because yes, it, you might find out it is edible, but like gathering things that are beautiful, it just brings you so much joy, which is why we all go outside in the first place. Ugh, it's so much fun to collect plants. Like, look at this. And there are other uses. So this is a plant I'm just learning about. It's actually called the blue marble berry. Um, that's the common name. And I'm gonna open one up so you can see kind of what's inside. Now this is always a good idea. Uh, and by the way, all the gear I like to use is gonna be in the description below as well. You can see it's got like, it's got a pretty kind of like almost dry, pulpy, honestly it's like wet cake texture. 
It smells, oh God, I really want to try this. It smells really like, oh, I don't know. It's hard to say. It doesn't smell bad. Now, because I'm already doing the plantain test, even though I know I can eat that, you really only want to do this one plant at a time in your mouth, especially. So um, I'm going to test this plant on my other wrist. Oh my God, I kind of want to try it. Um, and I'm going to take a bunch of these home once I know if this is ready for the next step or not, then I'll test it. So I'm going to collect a bunch of these. I'm so happy. Um, I do want to give you a fair warning that if you get into foraging like I have, you might end up with very full pockets in unusual spaces that make you look questionable. Honestly, it's worth it. It'll just make you look a little crazy, but it'll bring you the right kind of crazies. Other plant people. Now, if after eight hours, nothing here is itchy, there's no visible reaction and you're neutral, you are good to move on to the next step, which is where things start to get pretty fun. So let's move along. Now, this next step is a lot of fun because it's where things really get cooking. Sometimes, literally. Once you pass the first skin test, you move on to preparation and cooking. Now, cooking might be literal. It might be heating it up. It might be boiling it. It might be cooking it over coals. But oftentimes, especially if you're truly in a survival situation, you're just gonna have to test it raw. And you would wanna test it the way you would eat it. So in this case, this is a plant I know, it's plantain. I'm gonna eat it raw. Now, I'm not gonna cook it and eat it. I'm going to prepare it, right? So basically chewing it up. First thing I'm gonna do is not chew it with my mouth, but chew it with my fingers, right? We're making kind of like a little poultice smash. Squish it. So you got those plant juices out. We love plant juices. Um, you have a sense of anything that's gonna be released from the plant is being released. Now that it's prepared, whether it's smashed by fake teeth or cooked, you're gonna do a second skin test, and this time along your lip. This is Wild Woman Beauty 101. <laughs> um, I honestly just do one side, because if you have a bad reaction, you don't want it on your whole mouth, you just want it in one little area. Now right away as you're doing this, you might notice some burning, some tingling, some itching. That's bad. Stop immediately, clean it off. If you don't have an immediate reaction, you're gonna wait again, but this time not eight hours, just about 15 minutes. If you don't have a clock that's like, you know, lie down and wait till like 20 clouds pass you or, you know, see how many birds you can hear. That's about 15 minutes. This is also a great time to take a book or an app out and learn. It's so fun to learn about plants through books and apps, um, like the books I'm gonna give you at the end because you learn things like this plant, the blue marbleberry, it has this really cool seed, which is actually used for mala necklaces, those prayer necklaces in India. So it's like, even when a plant can't be eaten, it doesn't mean it's not useful. Aside from being beautiful, there are medicinal purposes, there are ceremonial purposes, and the more you let yourself explore it, not just with your body, but with your mind, the better relationship you have to the natural world. And that's where like so much joy comes from. Okay, I could ramble about this for hours. After the 15 minute mark, if you don't have any bothersome sensations or just general senses of dread, you're going to actually take the food, put it on your tongue, put it on your tongue, Honestly, ooh, already I'm getting some taste and some sensation. Even if you think it's good to eat, even if it tastes sweet, if it tastes familiar, if you don't know the plant, please, please, please wait 15 minutes, hold it in your mouth. I personally like to go here between my gums and my cheek or on the tip of my tongue behind my teeth. 15 minutes, watch some birds, pick some flowers. Here's a little tip I learned in my Naked and Afraid Challenge on South Africa. Whenever you come across a bunch of plants or berries like this here, now this is a yellow guava fruit. I know for sure it's edible. But if you see a bunch of fruits on the ground and no birds are eating them, none of the wildlife is approaching it, it's probably for a good reason. 
just because there are animals eating it, it doesn't mean you can, but it at least means it's worth finding out using this test. And in case you didn't grab it yet, please get your free download below so that you can remember this and practice it the next time you're outdoors. It's been 15 minutes, this is still in my mouth. And if you've made it this far, you are ready for the final and most important step. You're actually gonna fully chew it and swallow it. Ah. No tricks, no, no AI, I really swallowed that. And now is the most important part, you're going to wait. To really lock this step in, you need to wait eight hours to see how your body responds. And during those eight hours, here's what you need to do. Number one, go talk to somebody in your community who would probably know if this plant is edible or not. Because throughout human history, whether it's been for food, medicine, or poison, the way we've survived is by sharing information and collaborating. Number two, cross-reference it with a book or app. I'm listing my favorites below. So grab yourself a trail buddy, go forage, and happy trails. No. Ah. My mouth instantly was like Bleh. <laughs> Bleh. Okie dokie. It's been eight hours, probably a bit more. My wrist where I rubbed this is totally fine. So I wanted just to show you guys how this test ended up. But the next step is to rub it on my lip. Okay, I'll, oh, I'll get back to you in 15 minutes. I'm gonna hula hoop while I wait. A lot of you don't know this, but I actually used to be a professional hula hooper. <laughs> I was literally a circus performer and comedian. What? Yeah, what? Check it out. Okay. It's been 15 minutes, so I'm going to taste it. Not gonna lie, this got really hot in my car and it smells like a little funky now. Ooh. Okay, we're ready for the final bite. Oh. Before I bite this, I wanna remind you, in case I didn't say it yet, just because the internet says something is edible, it doesn't mean it's edible for you. We all have allergies, right? Let's find out if it's edible for me. Ugh. You know what it tastes like? It kinda of tastes like lily koi, also known as passion fruit, or kind of like a sour, dry applesauce. I think honestly, if I were surviving, I would totally eat this th as long as I feel good in eight hours. And uh, I give it a four, four out of 10. Happy trails.